Welcome back. None of us can fight human trafficking alone. We need to do this together. That's why In Our Backyard has developed programs to educate and bring community awareness. We would love it if you would join with us in the fight against human trafficking. Survivors are at the core of all we do at In Our Backyard. Through training and mobilization, we help bring awareness and educate people from law enforcement and medical staff to churches and schools. Tragically, a child around age 12 is at risk of sex trafficking. That's why at In Our Backyard, we feel so strongly about prevention because we would rather prevent a child from ever being trafficked than to see that child have to fight to overcome what has happened to them for many years. Our Teens Against Trafficking program does just that. We present to students and faculty, both in-person and online curriculum. Every school in which we have presented has had a disclosure of one kind or another, so we know it is working. Additionally, it's endorsed by the Oregon Department of Justice, and we continue to move beyond Oregon with this program throughout the United States. This kind of prevention saves our most precious commodity, our youth. Convenience Stores Against Trafficking, or CSAT, is a program where we partner with over 20,000 stores nationwide, equipping them with training on human trafficking for their employees to safely report. We also provide life-saving materials to post in stores. Convenience stores care about their community, have late night business hours, and survivors say they visit convenience stores every day. Trained stores provide a positive impact for the local community they serve, similar to a neighborhood watch program. We have documented cases of recoveries. Inside a restroom stall is sometimes the only place a victim is alone and unable to ask for help. That's why we created Freedom Stickers. They began within our backyard in 2011 in Central Oregon, and in 2015, House Bill 3143 was passed, which mandated that Freedom Stickers go out with every renewal of a liquor license to be put inside the restroom stalls. Freedom Stickers save lives. Freedom Stickers are now in every state in the United States, with distribution picking up pace faster than ever. Hundreds of thousands of Freedom Stickers have been placed across the United States and we have documented recoveries because of them. In Our Backyard has conducted anti-trafficking operations at every Super Bowl since 2010. Super Bowl is one of the biggest events in the United States out of the year. So we work with local and federal law enforcement agents, nonprofits and government agencies, and have awareness events. We also team with the National Center on Missing and Exploited Children, NICMIC, to recover missing children and bring justice to perpetrators. Though we distribute our missing children's booklets, all the credit for the recoveries goes to law enforcement and NICMIC. Human trafficking happens 365 days a year everywhere, and that is our emphasis whether we are working surrounding Super Bowl or doing a small training. Everyone can help in this fight. The Super Bowl is surrounded with hype large crowds and big dollars. But some local officials are concerned those dollars could be spent in a more sinister way. And it's not just about the lead up to game day. The awareness campaign stretches from the airport to the taxi cabs to hotel rooms and beyond. In this convenience store, just miles from the stadium, an opportunity to spread the word or even spot a victim. I met Nita Bells, executive director of the nonprofit organization called right. In Our Backyard. Yeah, and this store has done an excellent job. They've got the freedom sticker and the information about human trafficking right here on the front door. And you she has traveled to 10 Super Bowls with her organization. Yes. The Super Bowl does not increase trafficking. Sex buyers increase trafficking. She fights human trafficking by partnering with stores like this one. Traffickers bring their victims to convenience stores every day. The volunteers know that, so they put the human trafficking hotline number inside bathroom stalls for those rare moments when a trafficking victim is alone. We have documented cases of people that have actually found freedom as a result of the freedom stickers. Haley Bauer represents this chain of petrol stations and convenience stores, where they train employees how to spot potential victims and traffickers.
They're probably coming in to buy drinks, snacks, um, anything that they need for their hotels. Um, so, yeah, we think they will be coming in, and hopefully we can put a stop to it. You've got your eyes open. There are eyes open, ears open. We're ready. There are other eyes and ears that you will never see out in the open. Nita led us to this secret location in downtown Atlanta, where volunteers are scouring the dark web, looking for new leads to feed to law enforcement with the goal in mind of finding missing youths who are at risk of being trafficked. These are some of the children in our missing children's book, and um, some of them, as you can see, have been recovered. Here we met Cheryl Chickie, a volunteer with a personal connection to trafficking. I was exploited as a youth around the age of 10. Um, I was pretty much pinned in the midst of a neighborhood um, young child trafficking abuse ring. Overcome with emotion, she revealed it took her years before she realized what was happening, but hopes her work can prevent others from the same trauma. I think the most rewarding experience, and I've been around four years now, is actually this Super Bowl, meeting up with convenience store workers and hearing them um, say they've seen some of these kids in the booklets. A glimmer of hope in the fight to save lives, as officials and activists use events like the Super Bowl to highlight a year-round problem. Robin Kerner, CNN, Atlanta. Always remember, it can be very dangerous, not just for you, but for the victim as well, if you try to intervene in a situation where there's a potential trafficker and a victim. Don't try to be a hero. Work with law enforcement, work with the National Human Trafficking Hotline, allow people who are skilled at recovering victims to do just that. You can make a difference right now by recognizing human trafficking and reporting it. You can potentially save a life. Each year, one third of the survivors of trafficking in the United States are recovered because someone noticed something didn't look right and chose to report it instead of walking away. Learn more about human trafficking and how to recognize the signs. Learn more on human trafficking and how you can be a part of the movement against it. If you see it, speak up, report it, Put the National Human Trafficking Hotline in your cell phone or call 911 if a crime is in progress. Get involved within our backyard and be a Freedom Sticker Hero by volunteering to place Freedom Stickers inside restroom stalls by going to this website. Give. You can support In Our Backyard financially one time or through a monthly donation so that we can continue the fight against human trafficking. And if you haven't purchased the book In Our Backyard, I strongly recommend you do so. Proceeds from the book also go entirely to In Our Backyard. Please find In Our Backyard on social media where you'll get continual updates and hear more on how you can get involved with In Our Backyard's efforts in the movement. Together, we can fight human trafficking. Thank you for joining us in this battle to advocate for survivors everywhere.